Frankenstein Awakes Burpees, or FABs for short, are a whole body exercise, but the primary muscle group used are the abdominals. They're inspired by reverse burpees, but instead of using momentum to get up, you peel up from the floor and use your hands as you bring your legs in. On the way back to the ground, you squat and place your hands down to take your weight and return you back to lying. Banded broom behind the back upright rows. It's easy to rely heavily on pull-ups for your home back workout, but occasionally using an alternative that targets the muscles slightly differently avoids developing imbalances. This exercise targets the rear shoulders and upper back. They are inspired by bodybuilder Lee Haney's barbell version. If you haven't already got bands, check out the link in the description to get ones like I'm using. The main muscles worked with the kettlebell squat swings are the glutes, hamstrings and quads. Explosive hip extension provides the driving force for this movement. Think of the arms just as cables attached to the kettlebell. Their role is to gently guide the upward trajectory of the weight and follow it back down. I saw this exercise being done by kettlebell coach Adam Gooch. It's now become a firm favourite. I've put a link in the description for the Wolverson kettlebells that I use. If you're not in the UK, then Rogue and Kettlebell Kings might be better options for you. Bungee, step up. Pushing through the heel of the foot that's on the step, raise your back leg and abruptly pause, squeezing your glutes to generate controlled up and down movement to the weight. And when stepping down, stop in such a way that you also generate controlled up and down movement the primary muscles worked are the legs and glutes, but due to the unstable and unequal forces, the abs are also brought in. The bungee step up is inspired by an oblique exercise of Bill Maders, an abdominal exercise of Nisha and Nita of Trendy Criminal, and an offset walking drill by Squat University. Glute bridge single press. This is a great way to replicate the intensity of a heavy bench press if you haven't got a bench and you've only got one weight. The glute bridge single press is mainly a hip extension, hamstring, glute and chest exercise. The t-shirts in these videos are available from my other project called Physical. If you'd like one, the store link is in the description. And if you've already got one, I appreciate the support. Split stance high knee tuck jumps are good for warming up the lower body and they're good at getting the heart pumping, especially if the downstairs neighbour is bigger than you. Weighted captured crickets. It goes without saying that you should try the bodyweight version first, which uses your arms to assist the explosive hip extension into knee jump. Once you've mastered that and feel agile and explosive enough in the hips, try the weighted version. I'm using a kettlebell here, but if you have a weight plate, it's much more comfortable. The knee jump is the only movement in the sequence that is done explosively. Make sure as you rise with control to the top of the squat, you squeeze your glutes before lunging back to the kneeling position. The Zydrunas press or Z press is generally done with weights and offers a level of support to the shoulders that a standing press doesn't. As long as you don't let go of the broom handle at the wrong time, the resistant band version makes it even harder to injure your shoulders. To execute the move, you sit on a resistance band and thread a broom handle through each end. Having your legs close together makes the exercise a little more challenging by recruiting more of your core. Weighted Butt Scoot This is inspired by the Turkish getup and the butt scoot used in wrestling, BJJ and MMA. Rack the weight with the elbow out and use the leg on the same side, plus the free arm to scoot you back and forth. Weighted butt scoots hit the triceps, shoulders, legs and abs. It also gets the heart pumping. Back and forth lunges. It's not always necessary to load up the spine to have a decent lower body workout. In fact, it might be better not to load the spine too often post 40 years old especially if you spend a lot of time desk bound or don't have a knowledgeable personal trainer. If that's the case for you, try these back and forth lunges which hit calves, quads, hamstrings and glutes. Gymnastic ring rows. Pull up bars are a staple of home workouts and rightly so. 
but throw some gymnastic rings on them and you've got a serious upgrade to your kit. Gymnastic ring rows are great for your back and provide a good alternative to pull-ups. If you haven't already got a pull-up bar and rings, check out the link in the description to get ones like I'm using. Kettlebell, towel, side swing. If a kettlebell is too light for a side swing, use a hand towel to alter its center of gravity. The key thing is to generate the swing from the sitting and standing motion and to follow the momentum of the weight so the towel doesn't go slack. Thanks for watching and wishing you wellness.